all right everyone today's topic is sertoli cells and this is often asked as a short note both in internal exams as well as the university examinations and it's often asked and this is also an important topic and the question appears as what are sertoli cells and mention their functions okay so sertoli cells they are large complex glycogen containing cells that stretch from the basal lamina to the tubule of the lumen so they stretch between the basal lamina and the tubule of the lumen lumen means the seminiferous tubule okay now the most important thing is they ask about the function so there are basically three function nourishment formation of blood testis barrier and uh, secretion secretion of certain proteins so how let's see each of them in detail nourishment they provide nourishment to newly developing sperm cells hence also they are known as the nurse cells they also form the blood testis barrier and this barrier separates blood from the interstitial region from the lumen of the seminiferous tubule also they prevent autoimmunological attack on the sperm cells third function is they have some secretory functions they produce many secretory proteins like androgen binding protein this short form of a b p proteins they say this bind to hormone like testosterone and dht dht is dihydroxy testosterone estradiol this is required for maturation of sperm cells next mullerian inhibiting factor it inhibits the development of mullerian duct and thus prevent the development of female reproductive organ in the male embryo always keep in mind that during the developing embryo has two duct one is okay i'm showing you one is the mullerian duct and another is the wolfian duct these two duct are always present in any embryo now the gender of the embryo is already decided uh, at the very beginning so if it is a uh, male then anti uh, then mullerian inhibiting factor and androgen binding protein these will be present mullerian inhibiting factor and androgen binding protein what this does is mullerian inhibiting factor acts on mullerian duct and it prevents its development and androgen binding protein binds with testosterone and it helps in development of the wolfian duct so in this way the mullerian inhibiting factor and androgen binding protein functions but if it's a female then this mullerian inhibiting hormone is absent in females also androgen binding protein is also absent so when these are not present in absence of them the mullerian duct develops but the wolfian duct does not develops always remember that wolfian ducts only develops in presence of mullerian inhibiting factor and androgen binding pro uh, protein but the mullerian duct always develop passively means it does not have any active role or participation of any kind of hormones okay now the estradiol it is estradiol is also secreted from the sertoli cells it's a female hormone but it is secreted by sertoli cell to prevent apoptosis of spermatozoa okay now inhibin these are required to regulate the follicle stimulating hormone inhibin is secreted to regulate the fsh activity i'll discuss it in detail in regulation of the hormones totally now phagocytosis it the sertoli cell act as phagocytes and consume the remaining cytoplasmic processes during spermatogenesis so these are the uh, you may get as a short note of on spermatogen on sertoli cells and the functions of sertoli cells thank you for watching